I used to be just as this, the one you saw. I used to hate biochemistry. All I did was to mug up the topic before the exam and then spill it over the answer sheet. But then comes the brighter side of the story. With time, I analyzed myself and my approach towards this subject. And then I came up with this amazing, amazing idea, amazing plan to guide me through which helped me not only to study biochemistry in a better way, but to also enjoy the subject. So with the right set of tools, right shift in the mental framework and a very, very accurate plan to guide you through even a boring and cumbersome subject like biochemistry becomes easy. So this is what this video is all about. So hello everyone, if you are new to this channel and if you don't know me, my name is Ajinkya and I am a second MBBS student at LTMMC Mumbai. Welcome to Medseed MBBS where we post study tips and medical lectures. So make sure that you subscribe so that you never never miss any update from our side. So what I already knew was that biochemistry was indeed a very challenging subject. It involved concepts right from general chemistry, organic chemistry and then biology too. So how to deal with a subject like this? How to learn it better? How to study it more effectively? So I came up with this three step process. First step involving the uh, basic building step. Second step was how to memorize the subject better. And third step was to practice how to practice biochemistry so that we retain it for a very long period of time. So let's start with each one of them. So let us quickly start with the basics building tips. So first tip is to use the nomenclature. Now in biochemistry, there are so many terms and each term has a specific meaning. Okay, so if you understand the term, you pretty much understand the process that is being described. Now let us say for example, succinate is converted to fumarate with the help of succinyl dehydrogenase. Okay, now the word dehydrogenase, this term describes that the biomolecule is an enzyme because it ends with the uh, words ASE, it ends with ASE. So it means that succinate dehydrogenase is an enzyme. Secondly, it catalyzes dehydrogenation of the molecule and dehydrogenation as we know is a redox process. So one bio biomolecule is getting oxidized while the other is getting reduced. So all that information with one single name, that is the power of nomenclature. And that is why you must be very thorough with the nomenclature and the terms which are used in biochemistry. Tip number two, Organize your biomolecules. Now, before reading a chapter, before going into the depth, before understanding everything in detail, first skim through the topic. First, get an overview of what you are about to read. Then make short notes, notes, very concise notes of what you are about to read. Like you can just write the names, the structure, important functions and metabolism in short. So getting a larger view of the topic before you dive deep into it really helps you with biochemistry. So now let us move on to the second step, which is memorization technique. So the first step here is to understand and deconstruct the graphs and figures in biochemistry. Okay. Now biochemistry is extremely visual, be it functional or metabolism flowcharts or the mathematical graphs. All of them are very, very important and they prove to be a very, very great aid in understanding and learning a otherwise very lengthy topic. So instead of going through the theory, going line by line, you can actually learn all that stuff from a single graph or a flowchart. So it is my humble request and my suggestion that please work on these flowcharts and the graphs and practice them as frequently as you can. Second tip is to make biochemistry relatable. 
okay now if you are still finding some problems in understanding or learning the concepts try to look at them with a different perspective okay try to connect your theoretical parts with some clinical application basis now that positive practical association will really help you in recalling the topic much much quicker than just cramming the topic so try to connect your theoretical stuff with your clinical application moving on to the third step which is how to practice biochemistry now personally i feel and what i have discovered is that the only way the only tool to solve and practice biochemistry is to review it over and over again you can use flash cards you can practice mcqs you can refer review books you can you can do whatsoever thing which you can possibly think of you can even uh, draw diagrams practice flow charts be it anything but just make sure that you keep on doing it over and over again these all methods will definitely prove to be a big confidence booster as you take on your exams and will hopefully make learning biochemistry enjoyable for you so if you are here right now listening all the way down to the end i really really appreciate that thank you so much keep watching medseed and enjoy learning biochemistry